In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through the Ledger Live mobile dashboard. So as soon as you open the Ledger Live platform on your mobile, this is what's going to show up. We are going to start from the menu bar at the top, the three icons. The very first one is the icon for the CL card. So CL card stands for Crypto Life Card, which is an innovation that allows users to spend their crypto when transacting in their day-to-day -day life. It converts crypto to fiat at time of purchase and allows for a seamless experience. You can also use it to open a line of credit and use your crypto as collateral. Now, how this is beneficial for anyone who's using it is there is no interest applied to the amount that you borrow or the amount that you take this line of credit. So in order to get this card, you will need to create your account and then simply complete the verification process and add at least 100 USD in crypto to your account. And then the card is all yours. The next feature we're going to look at is the notification center. Now, the notification center is where the news will show up, news related to Ledger and Ledger Live. And uh, you can also see the status. So you can see that Ledger Live is up and running. Then the next icon is the settings icon. You click on that and you see different options here, different tabs. The first is general. Under general, you'll see preferred currency where you can change the currency that your Ledger Live shows. We are going to keep it in USD. The display language is English. You can change that as well. The theme is dark. That's the theme we would like. But then if you want a light theme, you click on light and it will look something like this. System will also be light. And then the password lock is a feature that allows you to protect your Ledger Live data. Personally, I don't really share my phone with anyone, but if you feel like your phone is accessed by many people and you want your Ledger Live data to be protected, you'll be able to put in a password that you need to enter every time you want to use your Ledger Live mobile app. The next tab is bug reports. So this automatically sends reports to help Ledger improve its products. We don't see the need to turn that off because it helps the community. It helps uh, Ledger um, improve uh, the product that we already have. We are using it. And then the same goes for analytics. When you enable analytics, it allows Ledger to be able to track certain things like you know, clicks, in-app page visits, redirect to web page, those kind of actions. Any actions you take on the Ledger Live platform, it tracks and it helps um, improve the user experience. Then the next tab is the carousel visibility. Let's talk about what the carousel is. Let's go back to the home page. You see this recommended section here and you see that there's a carousel. You scroll to the right. Now, when you disable the carousel feature, when you toggle it off, then this will disappear. Now, when you go back to settings, after the general tab, you'll see the accounts tab. Under accounts, you'll be able to edit the settings of crypto assets. In order to change them, when you click on it, you'll be able to uh, set the number of network confirmations for transactions to be approved. We don't usually mess with this. Um, I don't personally mess with it because there's a reason why this number of confirmations is the default. So we just keep it like that. You can also hide empty token accounts. And here they give you more information on how you can hide tokens in your accounts list. In the about tab, you basically find the version of the Ledger Nano X. You'll find the terms and conditions and the privacy policy. In the help section, you'll find Ledger support. If you're having a problem with your Ledger, this is where you come. You'll be able to speak to support, set up a device. They'll give you information regarding that. Then save logs. You can be able to clear your cache as well. And then reset Ledger Live. So you can just come and read through the help section. There will be some experimental features. Uh, so Ledger lets you know that the liability falls onto you uh, for using them. When you come to the feedback tab, you can basically give them some feedback on whether you're enjoying the Ledger Live software. And then uh, there are some developer features for people that are interested in experimenting with that. You can allow experimental apps or you can use the staging URL for the LAN page. I don't know what that is, uh, but I'm guessing someone who's into, you know, someone who's a developer, someone who's into code might be able to understand this. So the question mark here at the top gives you access to Ledger resources. The first is getting started here. It will give you information on how to set up your Ledger Live or your Ledger Nano. Then Ledger support, you can contact them in case you're having any challenges as well. And then Ledger Academy, you, you get to learn more about things like the blockchain, NFTs and crypto security. That's what you'll find in the Ledger Academy. And then the next two tabs are their social media presence, Facebook and Twitter. And then GitHub is for coders, people that want to review their code. Then the Ledger status basically lets you know how the Ledger system is performing. They give you different aspects of the ledger system that you can take a look at and see the performance. When you click away from ledger resources, you go back to settings and then you can go back. Now we're back to the home page and then we move down to the trend graph. At the top, you can see wallet. You can see that discrete mode is enabled. You can't see how much I have or um, how much is in my ledger wallet. Uh, if you want to show the amount that you have, you just click on the eye icon and you definitely be able to see 
um, how much you have on your ledger account. And then to the right, you can see a pie chart sign. That is uh, basically the portfolio. It shows the portfolio. And you can see that uh, it has two tabs. One is allocation, one is transaction history. And then below that, you can see a pie chart of some sort that shows how many assets I have. So I have five assets. You can see how they are allocated. Ethereum has the highest amount of my, of my portfolio. The next is XRP, the next is Binance Smart Chain, and then so on and so forth. Then the transaction history, you'll be able to see all the transactions you've carried out since you started using the Ledger Live platform or Ledger Nano X. And then now you can see the graph. It basically shows how the value of your cryptocurrency, your total cryptocurrency has changed over the, the time periods that are shown below. Down below that, you can see different filters. You can see one day, which we're tapped into right now. You can see one week and then one month. You can see what has happened there. One year, you can see how things have gone. We had uh, a peak and then now it seems like we're in the bear market. And then you can see all as well. And then right below that, you can see options to swap, buy, sell, receive and send cryptocurrency. So if you want to see how you can receive cryptocurrency, we have a video linked in the description as well if you want to check that out. And below that, you can see the assets you have on your Ledger Live. So in order to see all of them, here it's only showing uh, five of them. If you want to see all of them, then you click see all. If you want to add an asset, you click on this plus button at, in the top right corner. So let's go back. When you go down, you can see that the carousel here we spoke about earlier, the recommended section. Here you'll find promotions and then you'll find its products as well that it would like to show you. And then below that, you can see your transaction history, all the transactions you've carried out. You can click see all to see all of them. But that is it for the wallet tab. As you can see on the bottom menu right now, it's the home page definitely because it's what we open to, but it's also under the, the wallet tab. And then we can go to market. Under market, you're able to see each and every cryptocurrency, basically. You find more than a thousand cryptocurrencies and it just shows how much they are worth in the market right now. And then you can also see their market cap as well. You can change the currency from USD uh, to whichever you feel you want to change to. And then you can also change the time. You can filter by time. You can see the options there are seven days, 30 days, one year. And then you can also change the ranks. You can filter by top gainers, an ascending market cap. But right now we're using a, a descending market cap order. You can also search for the cryptocurrency you want to find. The next icon you can see at the bottom here is two arrows pointing. Here you find the options or the icons to send crypto to another wallet, receive crypto from another wallet, buy crypto securely with cash, sell crypto securely for cash and then swap. If you want to sell cryptocurrency, you can only sell Bitcoin, right? That's the only option that they have. You can also just go and buy or sell using a crypto trading platform such as Binance or your favorite. You just decide. We say Binance because it's the largest crypto exchange platform on the planet. So if you want to buy and sell cryptocurrency, there will be a, a link down below that will take you directly to a place where you can do that. Let's go to the Discover tab, right? So you click on that and here you're able to see the different apps and partners that Ledger Live uh, is working with, right? So you can see that here it's organized, more organized than uh, on the uh, Ledger Live desktop version. You can see it's organized into apps, into learn. Here you're able to learn about crypto, NFTs, digital security and more. And then earn. So opportunities for you to earn and grow your crypto assets. And then they also have their own NFT market called L Market or Ledger Market where artists and brands can release their NFTs. Under the apps, what we notice, these are going to be mostly options that help you purchase or sell cryptocurrency easily in the Ledger Live platform. On top of that, there are others that are also helping helping you connect to the DeFi space. So for the Ledger tab, you're going to need to connect your Ledger Nano X or your Ledger device. So let's go ahead and do that. This basically gives me information regarding my Ledger Nano X. So it shows me how much space I've used, how many apps I have installed on my Ledger Nano X, and then how much space I have that is available as well. It also shows me uh, my Ledger Nano X name, the actual name of the device, and then the version of software that I'm using. On top of that, it shows me the apps or platforms that I have access to that are compatible with the Ledger Live platform. As you can see here, the, the options that have the plus sign on the right are those that I haven't installed yet. But as you install more and more, the space here fills up. 
Uh, the ones with the garbage bin on the right are the ones that I have installed already. So you'll find different applications uh, down below. You just scroll uh, different accounts, different cryptocurrencies that you can install onto your Ledger Nano X uh, in order to be able to transact those particular cryptocurrencies onto uh, your Ledger Nano, maybe from an external wallet, maybe from a trading, a crypto trading platform. So you can see the filters here. You can filter by not installed and live supported. So some of the applications shown in that list will need a third party wallet in order to function well with the Ledger Live platform. Another thing you can uh, filter by or sort by is the market cap. You just click on this. This is by descending and this is by ascending market cap, right? So after you've checked out the filters, you can come to the last part here, which is my apps. You can see all the apps that I have installed on my Ledger Nano X device, and then you can uninstall all of them. You can also change the, the Nano X name, the name of your device, right? So you click on that and then you change it. But I have no reason to do that. So I'll just stick to that name. That is basically a full guide on how to use the Ledger Live platform on a mobile device. If you've enjoyed this video, leave us a like, subscribe to the channel. If you want to order your Ledger Nano device, we have a link in the description. Until next time.